Hey, this is Video Bob. I got another cool product review for you, and here we are in my bedroom. Um, you never know what I'm going to review. I decided to redo our bedroom, and I bought this really cool bed, and I want to show it off. But uh, this bedroom, it was like pink with beige carpet. We've been living with it that way for a few years, and I didn't like it. And I decided to go with a purple theme. Purple is a good, uh, passionate, soothing kind of color. Painted the walls in this nice... Uh, purple color is sort of kind of a periwinkle almost really and um, it's a bare premium and also the ceiling we painted silver this is actually rust-oleum oil based aluminum paint regular old tractor paint smelled terrible when we did it took about two days for it to, to dry but it was worth it because this is some solid hardcore paint and it's silver look how cool that is most people don't even think of doing something like that right they everybody has the same plain white popcorn ceiling and these are hand turned ceilings a record ceiling they call it sometimes and uh i didn't want to change the texture and the silver came out really really well we're going to change these light fixtures out soon and then of course we did uh this super cool uh, uh purple carpet to go with the uh, also this door people ask me about this door all the time there was a big gash in the door so i uh painted it had a piece of wood cut with cu this crushed velvet and covered it with this cool red velvet looks really neat all right let me show you this bed the suspension the suspension has been building okay here we go let me flip the camera all right there it is this is our gothic king bed from mbw furniture out of Atlanta I think I said that correctly I'll post a link to them in the description now I got to talk about this company a little bit okay they've got a lot of bad reviews online mostly because of their shipping practices you know they uh, and the thing is is they're trying to ship huge delicate pieces of furniture like this and sometimes that's hard to do and what they did with this that was kind of goofy was when they shipped it to me it was on they had taken like two pallets and screwed them together with two by fours because this footboard is one piece right and the problem is they make pallets for that type of thing, but they tried to make their own pallet. And the problem was, is, you know, even though it was easy for them to put it on the truck with their own forklift, the guy who delivered it said, hey, man, my pallet jack won't fit under this. There's no way for me to move this around. You know, they put it on the truck and I can't get it off. So me and three or two or three friends had to get up there and take this thing apart and bring all the parts in ourselves because the pallet jack, you know, he couldn't do it. So anyway, they used a SIAEA shipping, which they did a pretty good job. They got it here in about a week. Only thing I was pissed about is they told me it was going to be here in the morning, and then they told me it was going to be here at 12, and then they told me it was going to be here at 1. Next thing you know, it's 4 or 5 o'clock before they show up. But that's pretty typical when it comes to these assholes. You just have to sit at home all day long and, and twiddle your thumbs and wait for them to show up. All right, so let's go back to the bed. It's called the Gothic King Bed. If you Google Gothic King Bed, you'll find this thing all over the place. The thing is, you're going to find it at all different prices, from $3,000 up to $10,000. And it's something that I don't like about this company. They're a little bit unscrupulous about their business practices because I think they're just hoping that some sucker is going to pay as much money as that they can get. So, like, for instance, you'll find this thing listed on Walmart for $3,000 on their Walmart wholesale, and then you'll see it on their own website for, like, $9,000. And you can order it in any custom color you want, right? Uh, of course, I wanted it in black, but you can get it in natural wood color or white. So I had actually ordered this thing off of Walmart's website for $3,005. Then they contacted me and said, hey, you know, we saw that you ordered this. If you'll buy it from us direct, we'll give you free shipping, which will save you like 500 bucks. So I canceled the order with Walmart and did it with them directly. So even though that's a good thing for me, it's a little unscrupulous, you know? It's, you wanna be careful with these guys because of that. That's just my opinion. And so anyway, I got the bed in good condition. And uh, the thing, you know, it's solid wood. These are hand carved in Indonesia. You're going to find a lot of the Gothic furniture that's for sale out there is from Indonesia. This seems to be a practice that goes on there. Like I told you, this footboard is one giant solid piece. Okay? It's one piece, except for the little posts up on top. You have some lions carved in there. Okay? The, these little posts actually screw on, and this one's a little wobbly. And that's kind of common. I just need a little epoxy, a little glue, and that'll fix that. But it's not that big a deal. It's not going anywhere. The, the headboard is actually made up of multiple pieces. You have one big piece here, which goes all the way to the floor, and then you have the round piece that attaches to that. There's these big round bolts that, and, and also tabs that hold it in place. Little angels up on top poke in, and then you have a little angel on each side and a post on each side that attaches. But technically, those are part of the pillars. The pillars are, you know, their own separate pieces, and we'll talk about those in a minute. 
So, you know, you've got all these different pieces. You got pillar, pillar, headboard, footboard, and then you have these other attachments that go under here. Now, underneath the bed are these planks that go all the way across, right? And then the more planks that go this way. Well, I wasn't satisfied with those. I screwed those all together. I screwed them to the frame and screwed them together. Then I went and had a big piece of three quarter inch plywood cut to the exact size of this thing put it in there, screwed it down all the way around. So this thing is solid. It won't budge. You could pick it up and roll it like a like a yo-yo if you want if you were strong enough. I mean, it's solid. Doesn't squeak, doesn't rattle. The mattress itself, if you want to know, is a Serta 12-inch memory foam mattress that I got from Sam's. It was 500 bucks, and I got to tell you, it sleeps like a dream. It's a big, giant marshmallow. And because you got to think about this, as big as this thing is, if you had a box springs on here plus a 12-inch mattress, the mattress would be like way up here. You'd have to like, you need a ladder to climb into this thing, which might be part of the design. Now let's talk about, let's talk about these uh, pillars that go on the side here. They're very cool because they cradle you in. You know what I mean? They, they cradle you in. They hold the, uh, uh, your pillows in place. Um, you know, and that's all great. It creates a nice bit of security for you. You know, when you're in there, it just, you feel like you're in a giant baby cradle. The bad part is that I didn't think about till later is that you can't just reach over to your side table. You know, everybody has a side table. You can't get to it. So I put this little bitty side table right here down below which kind of messes up the design but you know you got to have a place to put your phone and some water and for me i have to have eye drops and things like that you know but you can't reach anything because you basically have to get up sit up and go around this go around the bin to go to you know you can't get to your table because of the thing but gosh darn it looks so cool now these dragon sconces i put up on the wall the, the, those are just some additional sconces i found and i thought i'd really put it in that mirror was already part of the room we took the mirror down and we were horrified to find out that the mirror actually covers up a giant window that used to be there and they just covered it with the window or with the mirror so we had to put the mirror back but it's kind of cool the mirror is behind the bed and it looks really neat let me back up all the way so you can get this whole thing in the picture okay this thing is massive so if you go to the link down below and you say you want the video Bob deal, you want the Gothic King bed for 3000 bucks with shipping included, that's the deal you can get. Now, if this is too rich for your blood, they have another Gothic bed that you would probably like that's called the Gargoyle bed. It's a lot smaller. It doesn't have those big side pillars, and it has a giant gargoyle up on the headboard up there. And it's about probably $1,300. bucks. It's, not near, it's nowhere as beefy as this. And I was very tempted to get it. What I didn't like about it is it has a big footboard that goes real high with like some ornate shit in the middle. And the thing is, is when you're laying in bed watching TV, then you got this big thing in the middle, you know what I mean? So if you're like us, you like, we like to sit here and watch TV from bed, you know what I mean? And th what I liked about this is the footboard is way down there. Now, in our old bed, we used to have this little ottoman chest thing sitting here. We decided to put it out of the way because it was so beautiful i'm like i didn't want to cover that up look how pretty this thing is so i don't know the type of wood used maybe the specifications on their website will tell you i could just tell you that it's solid it's well built it's hand carved it's one piece and for three thousand bucks i don't think you're going to do any better than that i mean seriously um as far as the cultural meaning of some of the stuff on here, you know, you got, you've got like uh, probably an islander here wearing a headdress and he's got a beard on, you know, you've got some, uh, some lions or panthers, you know, over here you've got, you've got a lion, you've got the, the bearded fellow kind of holding up this pillar, you know, he's the pillar of the community. Here you have another lion with a, with a new girl up on top and that's always a good thing, you know. Uh, Indonesia being uh, a bit, you know, uh, uh, coastal, you've got a depiction of an ocean. You have naked girls playing in the ocean. Looks like they're farming leaves, maybe seaweed or some kind of some kind of leaves, or or they're washing them, or they're pulling them out of the ocean. There's clouds. Then you have these other couple of uh, cherubs or these girls up here, and they've got something in their hands. You know, I, I can't figure out what they're something over their shoulders you know maybe they're leaning up against a gong waiting to beat it or maybe i don't know i don't know what's going on there but uh I, maybe if someone's watching who's indonesian or knows indonesian culture and you know what this depicts and what maybe some of this means 
You know, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if it means, you know, has something to do with dreams or fertility. You know, why is it part of the bed? You know what I mean? But um, I'd love to know what some of this stuff means. But what it means to me is that it's fucking badass. And when people come in here, they're like, my gosh, that is the most awesome bed I've ever seen, uh, ever. And I'm very proud to own it. So uh, MBW Furniture out of Atlanta, they import this stuff. There's a lot of people that import this stuff, but they are what, what I'm trying to say is when you Google this thing and find it almost every place you're going to find it, it's going to be them posting it. Sometimes they post it under different names, but it's all coming from them. They're out of Atlanta and I'll post the link in this description. Thanks for watching the video. Please like it. Please subscribe. I do all kinds of weird, crazy stuff like this all the time. So uh, thanks for uh, joining me. And uh, oops, thanks for joining me on a trip into the bedroom. We had this uh, had this cool stuff done into the this carpet. We had it done into the stairs as well. See, here's the other side of this door I was telling you about. We we covered this door and this crushed red velvet. There was a big hole in the door. So what I did was I um, went and got some MDF uh, or fiberboard rather. Went to Hobby Lobby, found this crushed velvet wrapped it and, and I just mounted it to the door after I painted the door black it came out perfect painted this hallway red and in here we have uh, that's Vigo the Carpathian <laughs> so I, I like the way this came out the, the purple carpet in here with the red looks really really cool so anyway thanks for joining me on video Bob and this is my house